If you have issues with one or more hard drives, you may need to reinitialize the RAID. With the system powered off, replace the hard drive or hard drives. Then power on the server and log in. From the overview page, go to Monitoring, Diagnostics, Storage. On the left hand side, you'll see both RAID arrays, Data and OPT. To the right of that, you'll see the Dormy partition, which is flash storage not associated to the RAID followed by a removal icon for any removable drive. To reinitialize the RAID, select on one of the RAID arrays, then click on the Storage Tools icon. Here you'll have one option, to reset all drives. Click on it, you will then be prompted with an authorization window. Enter the admin password, then select OK. You'll be prompted with a warning, this operation does result in the loss of all content in your hard drives and RAID array. Items stored in the RAID are show playlists and CPL content. Next, you will be prompted with a confirmation window. Select Continue to proceed with the reinitialization. After the RAID has been reinitialized successfully, your data partition will be marked in orange as it completes the rebuild process. On the IMS-1000, this will take approximately 8 to 10 minutes before it's available for use. On the IMS-2000, this process will take 2 to 3 hours. The RAID will be available for use while in this condition. When the rebuild process is complete, the data partition will go back to a green state. That completes the process of recreating the RAID array on the IMS.